Welcome uh, the Dam Keeper graphic novel making a video number three. In this video, we'll talk about a discovery we made in story while uh, we were putting together thumbnails and writing of the book. So one of the big surprises to a lot of people who read our graphic novel book one was uh, Fox is a female character. It's interesting because when we made the short, we never defined Fox's uh, gender. I would say like half of the people who watched the short thought Fox was a boy and the other half thought Fox was a girl, which was very interesting thing. It kind of paused the question to even us and we never defined it. I mean, in a way we were thinking maybe Fox was a boy, but we never defined it. But then for the graphic novel, for the big picture, uh, big story, in order for them to give a voice and in order for us to give them actual character, personalities, we had to define her or Fox's story too. And that's when we decided, you know, Fox is a girl. We had to have her struggle too in her story. She was a perfect character in the short. But then in the longer story, we have to bring in her challenges, that she is one of those, you know, tomboy characters who wants to stay friends with everybody. But then as people grow up, they start to become gender conscious, which she just couldn't stand. And Pig was the only one who stayed the same as her childhood. That's why she liked being friends with Pig. Whenever we create these fictionalized characters and worlds, I always worry that we get caught up in what we think is cool and appealing. Mm -hmm. I feel like the thing that was really great about having the two of us is trying to maintain and keep ourselves honest and sincere as to what drew us to these characters. And I think that Pig is a wonderfully complex character who on the surface is this sort of cute pig, a little round guy. But his struggle is real. He's day in, day out having to protect his town. It's a monumental responsibility for a child, uh, you know, a kid of his age to be taken care of. On top of that, he's wondering where his dad is. And I think this is a story that, you know, for both of us resonated. And the real thing we cared about for us to protect was the honesty and sincerity of that story because I think it's so easy to get caught up in what is cool and what was appealing to us visually. But I think keeping ourselves honest and sincere and true to what drew us to the story to begin with was one of the biggest challenges, but also one of the most rewarding aspects of telling this story together. So this was some of the discoveries we made in the story process. Our next video will cover the workbook process. 